So let's spend a few minutes here today talking about warning pop-ups. I call them a warning pop-up. Could be any reason why you have a pop-up. And here are the things that we're going to go over today. Now you can download this document and it's a pictorial guide of how to set this up completely. I'm going to walk you through the document right now. And then as we get into the video, there will be a pop-up that will give you the URL so you can download a copy for yourself. So let's go ahead and just get started. Now there's a few things that we need to realize about this. First of all, is that we're dealing with a gallery here. So we're going to add a pop-up into a gallery so that we can delete records from that gallery. So this pop-up is a little more complex than just a standard pop-up that you would do. But you learn this, you can easily set it outside of a gallery as well. So let's go ahead and get started by starting with the tree view and we need to set this variable right here, del warn equals false. So to do that, we're gonna shift over here to the app and we're gonna look at on start. So on start is our first step. Now I've already done this. So we've gone ahead and set delete warning to false. <coughs> Excuse me. And so what that means is basically we're saying that the pop-up is, is false right now. It's not true. So we don't want it to show until we click on a button that says DEL warn equals true. Okay. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is add a rectangle. And here we're adding this rectangle within. So that was first step. We're going to add this rectangle within the... Um, first record of that gallery. So remember, a gallery is you look over here, uh, where are we here? Down here. Here is the gallery itself, but if I click here near this gallery, do you see how it is kind of outlined just one record? And you can see that right here. See the line I kind of point to with that gold thing, that gold arrow? You want to make sure that you do that when you insert this pop-up, because I want the pop-up to appear within the gallery itself for every record. So if I have multiple records in this gallery, I could say, oh, delete this one, delete this one, delete that one, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna add that icon by hitting insert. Rectangles down here at the bottom. We're gonna hit rectangle. Now you know that you're in the right place because you're seeing it represented in both places, right? That means that this is the first record and it's just duplicating all that information. See, this is sort and search, this is push notification. And if I were to shrink this up a little bit, we'll probably get a third record there as well, okay? And I can expand that gallery as well, okay? So you kind of see all of it. All right, so that's the rectangle. That's the step we wanted to do right there, was add the rectangle. So again, pause if I'm going too fast, look at the instructions, and then rewind the video and kind of track with me. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is add a label right here, number six. We're gonna insert that label right on to that um, box there. So again, we wanna make sure that we're inside of this box here. We're gonna hit label, and do you see the label right there? So it's appeared, and we're just gonna double click on it because if you see here, text, now pay attention here, right? Text is here, and we're gonna do the text. So we wanna make sure that these match, right? So they do text but to get the text in here we have to be able to we use quotes excuse me and then do you see where it says warning now and we can go ahead and place that in there so let's go ahead and just do a little bit of touch up to this we're going to make that warning a little bit bigger notice i'm working here on the right side of my screen i'm going to click on this guy here i'm going to hit warning all right so kind of have that again notice it's going everywhere all right so uh, that's how you do that. And then the next phase here is, again, we want to make sure that we're inside of the blue box and we're going to add a cancel badge and we're going to add a check badge. So let's go ahead and add both of those right now. So again, we're going to click on that first record. We're around there. We're going to click on the cancel badge. Okay, see the cancel? We'll just put it right there. And then the check badge. Perfect. Wow, this is going a lot faster than you thought, huh? All right, so remember, stay tuned for the instructions or pause the video as you're watching so that you can catch all of these detailed steps. And then of course, stay tuned inside embedded in the video is the URL. So, <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we wanna do, we've added the check badge and we're a little bit off of this. We're gonna configure that cancel badge first, okay? 
So there's the cancel icon. So let's go ahead and configure that bad boy. So we're going to click on that right there. And we want to take on the on select. So that means when it is selected, we want to set the variable. Remember, we added this variable. <clears throat> we want to set it to false. Okay. So what that basically means is that when you click on the X, um, then it's going to, this is going to go away. The pop up is going to go away. Okay. No harm, no foul. Here, let's go ahead and set this guy up here. So this is the, um, the save button. And we're going to save a record to the, um, we're going to save a record, excuse me, to the actual gallery. So you can see here, um, this is, oh, this is the remove. Um, oh, this is a delete. That's right. <laughs> we're not going to save. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, so this is delete, right? So we're warning we're going to delete this. That's right. And here's the code right here that you want to write in for that. Okay, let me get that a little bit bigger for you. Okay, so the delete is right here. You're going to name, put the name of your list in right here. And I'm going to show you this on the other screen. And then you're going to set this to false again. So basically, if the pop-up's up, if you click this one, it's going to set it to false. If you click to delete, it's going to remove that record from your list, as said here, and then it's going to go away. The pop-up will, will go down. So let's go ahead and do that together. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and we're going to go on on select. Okay, and we're going to type in select the parent, just like we have here, right? Meaning that we're going to select that row, but we're going to remove, we're going to remove this file, and we're going to do it from our list. Now, I just pulled this list. Let me see. I think it's notes. <clears throat> so we'll hope that it's notes. If it's not notes, it won't work, by the way. And we're going to say this item. All right. And then we're going to close that off. And then we're going to set the variable. Again, we're going to set that delete warn variable right there back to false again. So our pop-up goes down. Okay. And so that's the code that you want to do here. You want to make sure that that's where you're at. Now, if you forgot, like I did, since I'm just doing this video in pretend here um, to teach, uh, let's double check to make sure we have the right, um, the right, uh, excuse me, the right list. So to check that, we're going to leave that just like it is. So we're good to go there, but let's double check. And you see here where it says data source notes. We're good to go. So we're going to go back to that again, and we're deleting from notes. So that's good. So let's move on to our next step. So our next step is to group all of these items that we've just created. We're going to create a group here, all right? And then we're going to set the visible properties of that group to um, delete warn. That's the variable, meaning they're true, okay? So here, again, pause the video if you want to look at these detailed instructions. The instructions are written, so you just kind of hold the, just follow the numbers and do what it says. Okay, and then there it is right there. So let's go ahead and do this in real life. All right, whoops, a daisy. All right, so let's go. So it's really committed to being a full screen. There. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do this in real life. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna group those icons. So we wanna group everything within this warning box. So you see how this is highlighted right here? I'm gonna hold down the control key. See how the next one's highlighted? There's the text, there's the rectangle. So those are all, this is the quote unquote pop-up that we're creating, right? So we're going that's what we're working on. We don't wanna select everything. We don't want this to hide, which is the first text field, right? We just want these to hide, okay? So when we get done with that, we're gonna do a right click here and we're gonna say group, okay? Now we have the group. And we're going to set the visible property to that variable. So click on the visible. Notice it's true right now, meaning it's up. But what we're going to do is set it so that the variable now controls the behavior of that pop-up box. So we're going to say DEL warn, which is right there. Now notice that the pop-up has gone away. This does not mean that it's gone. It just isn't, isn't present right now. If you want to edit it, you can just click on it there and and go down in and, and do what you need to do. But we're not gonna do that because we don't need to. So we're good there. So let's go ahead and go back to our instruction set. Again, 
pause the video if you want to view this. Let me go down a little smaller. There we go. And we've gone ahead. And now this is if you have a delete icon already in your gallery. We didn't when we started, but basically what we'd want to do is set this to be true, set to be true. So we're going to add this icon into our gallery right now and set the variable for, for this to work, okay? So we're going to click on that box again, the variable box, excuse me, the first record box of that gallery, and we're going to go to icon, and we're going to go to the trash can, and we're going to add it. Notice it's being added to everything there. And now we're going to set the variable um, to be true. So that means that when they click on that delete box, it's not going to actually delete. Okay, it's just going to pop up the pop-up box. Okay, which is what we want. So there we go. Deletes there. Now let's go ahead and go back. Whoops. Well, that that file is very committed to being all in one. Okay. So now, oh, and that's the end of our instruction. So let's go ahead and, and see it work. Again, if you want to download this, we, we have the URL. Just go and click on the URL. You can download this document for free. So um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and see if this works. So here we have a record. Let's go ahead and hit play here to run a test. Sort. This is just a... Um, well, that's some other warnings that I did on another video apparently. So here we're going to ask for the pop-up to occur. And this, I just don't know if this is something that we need. So it's going to notes. We're not going to actually delete it. We're just, I'm just going to show you that it works. So we hit the trash can and notice now that we get the warning. Now, <clears throat> if you want to, we're going to cancel that back out again. Let's go back out and we're going to make sure that doesn't appear on top. And to do that, we're just going to click on that icon there and we're going to say align, send it back. Whoops, reorder, send it back, okay? So now let's go ahead and run it again, boom, okay? So now we can click on here and it's telling us the warning. We click on it, it doesn't, of course it doesn't do it. And then if we click on here, it's gonna remove the file, but I don't know where I pulled this data from on which list, so I'm not gonna do that. You'll just have to take my word for it. So that's about it. That's as easy as it is to create a warning pop-up within your environment. They work exceptionally well now we did this within a gallery itself. We could have done the pop-up just as easy outside of the gallery. It really doesn't matter. And uh, good luck. And again, download the instructions uh, if you're interested in having this step-by-step -step instructions.